Hey, and welcome to Chef's Next Door. Today we expect Iran's friends, Monica and Oliver, for dinner. And I think they're your friends as well. Am I right? Um, well, Olivier is my friend from France, and Monica is his wife, uh, fourth one. Oh, fourth one? Okay. Okay, okay, I'm just kidding. I'm not sure about the number. Okay, okay. Yes, uh, oh, it's, it's my okay. Friend. So, if it's your friend, it's just great because you know that they decided to become vegetarian not so long ago. So, we should support them by cooking an amazingly delicious vegetarian dish. Wait, Olivier became a vegan? Oh, yes. He did. It's all Monica's influence. Okay. So I actually. got a decision. The dinner is cancelled. What? what are you doing? Stop it! Come on. I don't. Don't do this, okay? Don't be too ridiculous. I promise I will try to do my best to change your mind about vegetarian dishes. I can't understand how it could be. Celery uh, cutlets. Oh, Beetroot steak. Oh. Uh, uh, tofu fish burger. Okay. okay, also it's really healthy to have some days without meat because your body just needs some rest. You know, meat is really heavy for your stomach. What do you exactly propose? So, I know that you love burgers. I do. So, we're gonna do two versions of vegetarian burgers. And also, really popular Eastern European dish, which is stuffed peppers. It's gonna be amazing. Mm, okay, 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 let it be. Uh, I agree, but only for tonight. So we're gonna go vegan for tonight. Yes. Sounds uh, like fun. Thank God our friends did not decide to become a pro foodies because what? we would die tonight. Oh my goodness. And speaking about raw food, do you want to try the raw foodish soup? made from carrots and ginger just to cheer you up because you're so upset and tired you know like it's okay. gonna give you some energy okay, and we're gonna cook an amazing dinner do it i will i will pray before and please do oh praying come on so i'm just going to make the soup okay okay we need the avocado okay and here it is and i also have some ginger ginger do you like <laughs> avocado Yes, I do. I'm not vegan, but I'm an uh, avocado man. <laughs> I love it. Just cut it in half and use one half of avocado, okay? Okay. And I can chop the ginger. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, so we put the avocado mm -hmm. into our blender. I'll add the ginger and also I'll add the coconut milk. Oh, it looks so... Weird. Vegan. Vegan. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yep. And I'm going to need the carrot juice. Can you give it to me, please? Maybe some chicken broth. Okay. okay. Are you crazy? We're talking eating. about vegan stuff. Go. That looks bright. I love it. Yeah. Somebody eat it. Oh. You're gonna eat it. It's okay. Okay. It's tough. It's pepper, right? No. Yeah. Okay. Carefully. It's enough. I'll add some salt. And I can add some, some of this, maybe a dill or something. Yeah. No? Yeah? Oh, no? If you want to, it's gonna be such an experiment. Oh my goodness, okay. No. It gave syrup, just a little bit, and a little bit of red pepper. Okay, now I can go wild and mix it all together. I'll take the glasses. Not plates, just glasses. Sure, we're gonna drink the soup. It's not the soup, it's just smoothie or something. Jesus Christ, I love the color and the texture. It's so creamy. So, cheers. Santé. Do you know the name of this cocktail? Oh, no idea. Okay, the name of the soup is Only Long Die Old. Not Live Fast Die Young. Absolutely not. So, cheers. Suspicious, okay. <laughs> Mmm, I love it. Tastes amazing. And I'm feeling the energy coming, you know? Hmm. I don't know. But Why? the good thing is that at least they're not broccoli. Why? I love broccoli. Somebody loves broccoli. Is Absolutely. It possible? Broccoli is amazing. You know what? I prefer Bruce Lee, not broccoli. 
Oh, such a joke's over here. Got you. Okay. Okay, so let's canteen. <laughs> well, so we are starting with stuffed patters and we will Stuff them with... Uh, we're gonna stuff them with rice, black beans, mushrooms, corn, onions. It's gonna be green onion and blue onion and also some cilantro. And by the way, we will put some cheese on top to make the dish taste more creamy. I'm going to prepare the filling and yeah. you're gonna cut the peppers in halves. Okay. Scoop out the membranes and leave the stalks, please, because it's really important. It doesn't. Really? Yes, oh. it doesn't actually Ooh. influence the taste, but on right. the plate, it looks much better with them. So I need some water. Okay, so I added some black beans and rice, and I will boil it together. Yes, it's true to mix the flavors. It's like a little secret. Oh, so in fact, it's really strange. Black beans and rice, the same casserole. Now I'm going to chop the mushrooms. Yum. And Andra, guess what you're gonna do? Me? Yes, you. Dance in flamenco. Whoop. Oh my goodness. <laughs> no, actually, actually, no. You have to chop the onions. Yes. Onions for you, another onion for you. Okay, just stop it, please, okay? So, any life hacks? Yes. May I just slice it? No, not cut in the cubes. Slice it? Yeah. Mm, okay. Wait. You have this right to slice it. Uh, well, I mean, now. it's weird. <sighs> no, oh, my goodness, really? Look. Or let's try it like this. Oh my goodness, you know, it looks fun, but have you ever tried to do that with a vertical peeler? You can try it with vertical peeler. Oh yeah, I really want to do that. It's weird, but okay. I'll take this and peel it. That's amazing, just look. It's such a thin yeah. slime. I told you. I think it's, it's my life hack. So I guess I'm a winner in our competition of onion life hacks. Wait. So I think this vertical one is really better. Okay, so now you're my partner in crime. Oh yeah, so I think it's time to fry our mushrooms with onions, don't you think? Yes, but I have something for you. Wait. Oh my goodness. What is gonna be? Um... You were a very... A very, a very good girl. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you very much. I think I'll use half of this for our delicious peppers. And um. I will save this and put it over here as a beautiful bouquet. I can see that you have some manners and I'm like surprised. So I'm going to prepare the frying pan over here. And you know what about soft peppers? What? Uh, being in Ukraine, you mm. know, I ate it almost every day. I love it. But really? it was stuffed with rice and meat. Oh, yeah, it's really popular in Ukraine. It's for our peppers. Yes, it is. It's really special. I'm glad that you brought it because it's Ukrainian cheese. Oh, no, it's brinza. How do you know that? <laughs> yes, it's brinza. I love it. You know, the brinza is really popular for its smell and taste. It's really special. And there is a Ukrainian dish which name is banosh. Banosh? Yeah, this is like a corn porridge made with brinza. And okay, like, like polenta. Like, like it's oh, yeah, polenta. kind of. Okay, I see it's boiling. And you know the funny fact? 
like my parents and grandparents and so on, all of my relatives, they used to cook the stuffed peppers like when I was a child. And they used to call it like Bulgarian peppers. Bulgarian? Bulgarian, yes. Uh, and I honestly, I saw that these peppers only grow in Bulgaria. <laughs> okay, so but why Bulgarian? Because, you know, during the commies regime, Bulgaria was the one who imported all these peppers in that part of the world. So that's why all the people used to call it Bulgarian. Okay, so now, uh, mushrooms. Yes, we're gonna fry them with our onions, but our onions needs just two more minutes to be fried a little bit more. But I think this one is ready. And I'll add my mushrooms a little bit more. You know, in fact, um, a vegetarian diet is more and more popular in the world, but not in France, in fact. Oh, really? Mm, really. In France, there are not uh, too much of vegans, but French live the longest life in Europe, yes. Oh, really? And in Japan, who is the champion of uh, uh, life longevity. In fact, just guess how much of people are just uh, vegetarians and vegans? I don't know about Japan statistics, so tell me. 1%. Oh, really? 1%? I know that there is like around 1 billion of people on our planet who are vegetarians. Mm. And most of them, like a half of them, are in India because of their religion restrictions, yeah, you know? Yeah, sure. And do you know who is in second place? Uh, China, no? Oh, no, absolutely not. Germany and Taiwan, imagine. Taiwan and Taiwan Germany. Taiwan and Germany, yes. And do you know that in our world, it became like a popular trend to skip eating meat, you know? Yeah, I know. In Europe now, it's like, 10-15% more of vegetarian people than it was like 30-50 years ago. So we're gonna see what will it bring us because it's the great way to save our planet not to eat meat, actually. The easiest step and the healthiest one. All right, so I'm oh. going to do that carefully. Careful. We don't need this water anymore. Maybe we need a sieve for that. Yes, please. But okay. Okay. And it's so beautiful rice. You know, when the monkey became human. Oh, really? Yes. When? Tell when me they that. started to eat meat. Aww. Because the brain needs to develop, you know. And I do believe if we all forget how to eat meat, we will all forget how to make cars and spaceship and go back to government on the other cars. What? Oh my god. Hmm. It's just your speculations. <laughs> because in that time, people have no really choice what to eat because you either hunt and have a lot of food or gather berries and plants and have less food. So you just choose to live. That's why they used to hunt. And mm. now in our world, we have a lot of things to eat and you don't have to hunt anymore. So. No mammals, okay. Yeah, you just can still be vegetarian and live healthy and full life. Sure, and human organism just changed, very changed. Very good. So it's time to put our mushrooms Chicken and pie. onions into this and I'll bring the corn. It's gonna look like sun because it's corn and it's yellow and it's really bright. So, oh. do you like corn? Um, not too much, but... Okay, not too much, so it's enough. Okay. And stuff our peppers. Absolutely, but don't that you forget brings, about uh, cheese. Prinze? Yes, Prinze is really good for that. Okay. And also, I brought something interesting for you. I bought the vegan parmesan cheese. Again, please, vegan what? Vegan parmesan. parmesan. Absolutely. Okay, uh, why not? Now it, uh, everything is possible. And your brinza is just brinza. It's not a piece of soap or something. Goodness, of course, no. And just do this with your hands. Don't be shy. Oh, wow. 
Oh, I Okie dokie, oh, great. Oh, oh, it works. And I, I have a question, a very serious one. Tell me, why do you think people become vegans and vegetarians? I think there are different reasons. Some people just don't want to hurt any living creatures, and that's the reason. Acceptance. Some people just don't like meat, like the taste, you know? It's wow. possible. Mm. And for some people's stomachs, meat is really too heavy. So some people do this because of their health. Okay. And do you know what kind of vegetarians are they? I mean, Monica and Oliver. Because I know that there are lots of types of vegetarians. Oh, yeah. All the vegetarians, they don't eat meat, fish, seafood, pastry, but they eat eggs. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, or lacto of a vegetarian, they don't eat meat and etc. But they eat actually eggs and dairy products. Okay. Because ovo don't eat dairy products at all. And pescatarians. Pes pescatarians, yes. They don't eat meat, seafood, dairy products, eggs, but they eat fish. Okay. In fact, we don't know what kind of vegetarians Monica and Olivia are, so... How can you be friends? I mean, that's mm, weird. Before, Olivia was absolutely normal. <laughs> normal? Okay. You know what? In my youth, I was vegetarian, but... You was a vegetarian? Because the Impressive. only reason I was... How to say that right? I was vegetarian. Oh, vegetarian. It was because of a budget. So, but, okay, so now let's stuff our patterns. Let's stuff them. Oh, uh, it's beautiful. I love the colors. Okay. Here we go. Oh, it looks not bad. Okay, so, so I parmesan. Some olive oil just for you because yeah. you love olive oil. So, okay. it's enough of uh, vegetarian parmesan? I think, yeah, it's enough. Okay, it's very strange. Uh, vegetarian cheese. You know, there are lots of vegetarian cheeses. And what it's made of? I, it, I can't. Oh, well, usually it's made of nuts. Nuts? Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes it's made of chickpeas. Chickpeas? Yes. Also soybeans. And usually this kind of cheeses are parmesan. Gouda cheese and another cheeses as well. And what about blue cheeses, you know? Oh no, this option is not possible. Oh. Sorry, sorry, but oh, really? any other options? Any cream cheese also possible. Mostly it's vegetarian or like plant protein. Okay, so now we should put it in the oven. So. Absolutely, yes. Okay. It's ready. I will do it. Thank you very oh. much. And we're gonna move on. Okay, let's do it. Now I'm ready for everything now. Great. And now, second part of our veggie experiment. It's gonna be vegan burgers. Vegan burgers sounds absurd. Oh, okay, no. so which means we'll take bread and carrot patties or something. Oh my God, of course not. We're gonna make two versions of really delicious vegan burgers. Okay. One kind of patty will be made out of chickpeas. Chickpeas? Wait, wait, wait. Yes, Chick chickpeas. Chickpeas is a falafel. Oh yeah, kind of. Yeah, it's almost like a falafel, but not exactly, because we'll add some sweet corn as well, so it's gonna be much more fun. And also we're gonna make a vegan teriyaki sauce. Vegan teriyaki? Yeah. And? Okay, so? Let's start. I think so, yeah. Um, so? Now we need a blender. Okay. And something for you to know, mm. I think you're gonna like it. We're gonna make this chickpeas burgers. Mm -hmm. Not just like from my recipe or something else. It's Jamie Oliver's traditional homemade recipe. Okay, okay. So I think you're gonna like it. I love Jamie Oliver, so let's do it. Maybe it will be not so bad. By the way, as you can see, this is teened chickpeas. Oh, okay. And also teened corn. For our patties, it's so much better to use teened ones. So I add this. Okay. Take the spoon. No, you're, oh my goodness, it's gonna be yummy, yummy. We have to add like three tablespoons of regular flour. 
So now I suppose it's time, as always, to chop or grate the onion. I'm and it will be me. I'm sorry to tell this, but what? it's going to be no onions for this patties. No onions. No onions. No cutting. You no had to chopping. tell me that before. It's a brilliant <laughs> recipe. You know, the, the guy who just invented that recipe is just oh, he deserves a. Marble statue in our honor. And you know what? Jamie Oliver is such a special person. He has a lot of awards and achievements. And his book is number two bestseller in Great Britain. And number one is? John Rowling. Harry Potter. Okay. Yeah. And his net worth valued around $300 million before COVID. Good, and COVID. beautiful haircut also. <laughs> yeah, it's really important. So. But you know what? What? Jamie Oliver still doesn't have his Michelin star, and neither has his restaurant. Really? So, yeah. Mm -mm. Oh, it's not fair. Oh. It is not fair. I agree. Wait. Mm, I will fix it. Um, dear Jamie oh. Oliver, we love you so much. And yeah, we do. Tonight, you will have your beautiful Michelin star. What? Trust me, it will be a star that you really deserve. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so I think I'm going to blend it together. So, our patties are almost ready. And now I'll put this mixture on our desk and I'll try to form two equal patties. Wait, there's something very important. What is that? It's just a Michelin star. Yes, of Batad, but oh, oh anyway. Oh my goodness, it's sweet, actually. It's just for Jamie Oliver. I should <clears throat> say this pitch. <clears throat> okay, this pitch. Dear Jamie Oliver, Okay. we love you and this beautiful Michelin star. Let me present it to you from our chefs next door, from me, from my beautiful wife, Iran, who is now on a business trip. Uh, wait a second. Um, it's from me as well. Jamie, I'm Natalie. Hi. I, I love you, Jamie. <laughs> OK. OK, if you want, I, I can make uh, uh, the mission start for you, too, of uh, pumpkins or watermelon. What do you prefer? OK, watermelon, no. I oh. prefer the dragon fruit one. Oh, OK. Maybe later. So now patties. Delicious. Look at this beautiful Pages. gadget. It's just for patties. <gasps> oh my god. Yeah. yeah, it's a burger press. In fact, it's for normal burger, not for very vegan, but today everything is special. Well look, we will use hmm. that film clean. Okay. Yeah. <gasps> Great idea. I was about to say that we need to add some oil no, to this. No, no. But you you're it. making it smarter okay. actually. Okay, just put I'm it surprised. now here. All righty, here we go. Like this. Now Wonderful. Like this. <gasps> Great. I, I love this gadget, really. <gasps> oh my goodness, even the straps. Yes, it's vegan, but it's still patty. Now. It's amazing. I can help you. Yeah. Here we go. Wow, wonderful one. Yes. So we're gonna do the next one. Mm -hmm. Please do. Do you know that Jamie Oliver has his tea show, which is called Meat Free Meals? Oh. So I think you have to pay attention to some vegan dishes. Maybe no, you can allow them. Don't forget, no Michelin star before today. <laughs> Okay, so the second one. Wonderful. Oh my goodness, you are the inventor. Like um, Leonardo da Vinci and Nikola Tesla at in just one yeah, person. Man. By the way, uh, there are a lot of inventors who were just Ukrainians. For example, very famous Igor Sikorsky, the inventor uh, yeah. of modern type helicopters. Also, Ivan Prilui, uh, who invented the first X-ray device for human skeleton. Oh my goodness, yeah. great. I didn't know that actually. Uh, yeah, so it's really many inventors among Ukrainians. You know, now I'm, I'm like more proud to be Ukrainian. Yeah. And by the way, do you know who invented the vegan meat? Ukrainian. Yeah, Rose loves the wines. <laughs> It's a good idea, yeah, actually. It was like nearly at the same time when Yaroslav ruled in Cave and Ross. But this was made by Buddhist monks because their principal position was not to harm any living creature. 
and that's how they created seitan. Seitan? Yes, it's like a plant-based meat. Here we go. And we're gonna do our second burgers patties. It's gonna be vegan veggie meat patties. Okay, it's in the refrigerator, I suppose. Yeah, I bought them in our local eco store. It's strange. It's, it's like take meat, but one. smells not like meat. It it made out of out of what? Oh, this particular patties, they are made out of wheat, also bean, uh, some flour oil, and pea protein. Beautiful meat. Okay. It's not bad. Not bad. Mm. And it smells not bad. Don't you think? Oh, yes. I suppose Jamie could be proud of us. Absolutely. And by the way, do you know what kind of sauce is supposed to be in this burger? Oh, you told something about strange um, veggie teriyaki or something. Oh, huh? uh, yeah, I told about that, but this is for this kind of meat. Oh. And this is Jamie Oliver's recipe, don't you remember? So I suppose it should be something more human. According to Jamie, yeah. this pit is supposed to be with ketchup. With so, ketchup? Yep, easy breezy. Oh, thank God. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Jamie. I will definitely eat that. Okay, so our patties are almost done. I'll take our patties. And you know what? I'm what? just curious about that nowadays fashion of uh, gluten. In fact, as I read, only 1% and even less of humanity have a really intolerance to gluten. But now it's so fashionable to put that gluten-free label even for mineral water. So <laughs> maybe you know something about really world fashion, no gluten, gluten-free. Actually, I know, and it's not just a modern fashionable trend. And now it's like 78% of people on our planet who do the gluten-free diet. And there are like three reasons for that. First one, mm -hmm. as you said, it's gluten intolerance which is really dangerous. And you definitely have to go to the doctor to know this. And all your task is to avoid any gluten in your life because it can cause really, really, really bad things with the human. So the second one, it's like sounds easier, but it's not so easy. It's allergic, allergic to gluten. These people also cannot eat any kind of gluten in their whole life. So that's why they're supposed to do this diet. Yes, thank you very much. I'm going to do this. And the rest is... The and the rest is... Fashion. Absolutely no. It's hypersensitivity to gluten. And this hypersensitivity sounds really bad, but it's actually a little bit better than two Ooh, previous sure. ones. Because and they sometimes need to take like a little diet without gluten, but for the rest of their life, they can eat gluten. That's right. And then nothing about glutenophobia or something. No, no doesn't yeah. exist. Thank you. I understand. Okay, I'm going to make a sauce. Sauce, uh, that beautiful veggie teriyaki. Absolutely, veggie teriyaki. You, and... It sounds like it's a, it's a name of, uh, of a great chef. And now, <laughs> veggie teriyaki. <laughs> okay, sounds so fun. Let's... So I will cut the ginger. I will put these strange patties. Just... Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, now they look better, I should say. So I chop the ginger really thin into small pieces. Andra, just take uh, the pot. Okay. All right, now some oil. I'll take the garlic. And by the way, look what I have. It's old school. Absolutely. But cool. But we're gonna use it. Just put the ginger into this pot, okay? And now I'm going to do this. Okay. Okay. It's like squeezing the garlic. They were doing some experiments, you know? So that's why I decided to do an unusual recipe. So we need to fry this for like a couple of minutes and then I'm going to add some orange juice, some water, and also, I'll take a brown sugar to sugar. make the sauce sweet. It should be sweet really? and sour and spicy. Uh, so. Half 
of orange. Okay. Can you stir it, please? Okay, now we have to pass our sauce through the sieve. And then we're gonna add some soy sauce mm -hmm. and also cornstarch. Okay, so you know vegan. Here we go. Vegan cuisine is, um, you know, it's it's really very very difficult, I should say, but always interesting. So now you put this mixture into the sauce. Mm. We have to boil it. So our sauce. Oh my goodness, ready. it's looking amazing. Oh okay. my god, I love the sauce. Yeah, I too. Wow, it's and very yummy. You know that the sauce is Japanese. Yeah. And, and the Japanese people this put they put this teriyaki sauce on everything. Like and on rice and noodles and everything. Only fish. one, one, one percent of Japanese are vegetarians. So maybe it's time to combine our egg burgers. Beats. Egg beats. Let's do okay. that. So we'll start with sauce. Yeah. Brilliant. Some sauce. I love the smell. Yes, I love the ketchup. After the sauce, we should put what? Lettuce. So now, now I think it's gonna be tomatoes. Tomatoes. Okay. Sure. Uh, oh, be careful with your patties. They uh, are huge. I'm, and mine are just yes. regular. Some onions. Okay. Mm -hmm. It looks not so bad, I should say. It looks great, actually. Okay. It's time to cover them. Cover, cover, Let cover. Let it be the mystery of... Yep. Oh, my goodness. They yes. are just gorgeous. Yeah. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, but you know what? What time what? is it now? Monica and Old Olivia, they will come soon. Oh, really? Uh, we should clean it's that such a mess up. here. Okay. We have just a few minutes. Okay. Let's start. Let's do it. Whew. Well, so it's time for our peppers. Peppers. Yes, Stuffed it's peppers. time for peppers. Yep. I'll take this and the plates. I hope they're amazing. Come on, yeah. they are just great. Okay. Here we go. I think we need to decorate them a little bit. Oh, yeah, sure. Wait, I will do it. I'm a great decorator, you know. Okie dokie. Well, as you remember, in the very beginning, I was a bit skeptical about vegetarian cuisine. I mean, cuisine. not a little, but very. But now I am even more skeptical. Okay, okay, I'm just kidding. In fact, it was funny, it was interesting, and now, you know, I can't wait to taste it, maybe. Yeah, I'm really glad that you understood that this vegetarian diet, it's not like a desk. Penalty. The ring, but okay, okay. okay yeah, I'm gonna go. Whew. Okay. Well, so let's the veggie party begin. Hmm. Sorry. 